welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. You know how we do. Grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to it um, with episode number six of Straight Forward with Miss B, um, along with co-host A.G. What's up, A.G.? How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. What's been going on? Long time no hear. Oh, my God. It's only been a week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to talk more often, though. That's too long. Right. Yeah, I feel you. A week can ca- kind of pass by, you know. So, you know, I said a couple of episodes back, I wanted to try to record twice a week, but it's been looking like once a week. <laughs> Because it's, it's always stuff that comes up. Like this Sunday, I wanted to record, but of course, it was Super Bowl Sunday, so we couldn't do it then. So we had to wait until today. So as of right now, it's kind of looking like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do better, Miss B. I know. I definitely got to do better, man. But anyway. Um, so welcome everybody. Um, you know how we do. We kind of start off recapping our weekend. Um, see what what was happening with both of us. I know, like I said, Super Bowl went on this Sunday, so I know a lot of people was preparing for that, trying to get their wings and rotel dip and chips and dinner's ready you know since it was on Sunday, I'm sure you know more people had more food than just your regular you know regular football Sunday food going on. But uh, how did you like the Super Bowl, man? Hey, it was one of the very exciting Super Bowls. Went down to the wire like all the rest of the playoff games. And and I was I was really excited. I was impressed. Yeah, I was wow. impressed too, especially like the first, second quarter. I didn't really think it was going to kind of be, you know, kind of so close like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, it was a good game. That's what made it. Yeah, that's what made it exciting. It looked like one team was gonna win, which was my team. What was <laughs> your team? team Rain. I'm going for the for the Bengals. Oh, the Bengals. See, I'm getting. Yeah, I'm going for the underdog. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you you ain't the only one <laughs> that was going for the underdog. Yeah, they had it, but they just couldn't hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I know by the time, um, shoot, by the time the fourth quarter, I didn't really catch the fourth quarter of the game. Matter of fact, did I catch the fourth quarter? No, I didn't catch the fourth quarter of the game, but, yeah, but I heard. You missed the game. I missed the, yeah, I missed the last <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah, you but, you know, I, ca- you I, catch the, I catch the replays. You know, the replays, I go to Twitter, I go to Instagram. I, You know, I was able to see who won that way. So, you know, I was still, you know, I was still somewhat trying to keep up what was going on. I see all the celebrities was out and about at um, Super Bowl. How did you like the um the halftime, halftime performances? Old school West Coast hip hop. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I loved it yeah. too. I loved it too. Um, I'm glad that they did squeeze Mary J. Blige, you know, in there because she, at least she got the opportunity to switch it up. She's been in the game for a long time. I think it was it's about it was about time for her to to be on you know be on that stage as well. I'm glad that Jay Z was able to hook that up, you know, hook that up for her and stuff, so that she could have an opportunity, like you know, like everybody else, like you know, Prince, Beyonce, who else on the right. line, Janet Jackson, you know, give a give our sister an opportunity. You know, even though some people some people do have a problem with Mary's voice when she sings. <laughs> What you mean? I ain't never heard nobody say nothing about Mary's voice. Oh yeah, it's people out there that don't necessarily consider her. They they like Mary, but when it comes to like true singing vocals, you know, some people feel as though her voice isn't that strong. But 
I enjoy Mary. I've always been a Mary um, supporter, fan. Shoot, her first album, My Life, when it came out, I swear to God, I think I had at least two or three copies of that. Because I kept living your life. Uh, yes, yeah, my <laughs> life. life people kept, <laughs> yeah, either people would steal my copy or, you know, something <laughs> always happened to it or I just played it to death in the car. Man, I used, I remember just driving around and go, especially going back from, you know, Montgomery to Atlanta um, <clears throat> back in my college days mm-hmm. on the road. That is literally all I would play. I mean, you could ask, you could ask Rhonda. Man, that's all we used to listen to was Mary J on there when we was on the road. <laughs> I mean, Mary was hot then. That's the reason why I said I couldn't believe people be talking about Mary. Yeah. She's been out for a long time. See, that was what? The early nineties. Yeah, and I don't know why people try to compare her anyway with, you know, people that can that has better voices like I guess during that time, you would think, like, Faith Evans. You know what I'm saying? Like, her voice was a lot more smoother. Very rough and rugged, man. Yeah, yeah, Mary's she rough and rugged. Them. Yeah. But she can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, who was there? Uh, what about Kendrick Lamar? Did you think he was kind of out of place a little bit? Yeah, he ain't old enough to be in that. To be in that, you know what I'm saying. I ain't no real Kendrick Lamar fan like that for real. But he, he, he too. Yeah, they should have put somebody older mm. from the nineties in there. Right, right. Yeah, I was, I was. Well, I could, I, I could understand how he made it because he might be the artist of right now. You know. Yeah, that's what I was. That was going through my mind when I, you know, kind of after his performance, I was like, okay, they needed the, they needed to include a younger, you know, maybe hip hop act artist, right, with the older generation. That way, you know, the 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 young and crowd, that was him. yeah, the yeah. young crowd can have somebody that they familiar with, or you know, and familiar with their music. Um. So I think it was all. I think it was all right. Of course, he had a more military type of set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was like the Black Panthers or something. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I'm like, okay. uh, Who used to do that? Um, used to do all that marching around. What's that? Um, um, who that is? Um, Janet Jackson. Nah, the dude with the big clock. Oh, you talking about uh, Flavor Flav and Public Enemy? Then they used to do all that marching around yeah, they like used... that, have all them people on stage with them doing that stuff like that. Yeah, back in the day they did. <laughs> yeah, that's what that kind of meant. Yeah. Reminded me of. Yeah, that's the only part that I kind of didn't really agree with, but I guess, you know, he yeah, some somebody that. had to be there to send a message in the min- middle of, you know. <laughs> In the middle of crit walking and stuff, right? Yeah. So I guess that's and, what his purpose was for. And big fifty swinging upside down. Boy. Oh, that he was, was he was love, man. What he did, I, I'm like, that's how that video was when he first came out. Right. Know? Yeah, I knew it. I'm like, but he wasn't that big though. No, he wouldn't. They would. I mean, they've been clowning him with the different memes and stuff on the internet because he was so big. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. looking like he's about to bust a blood vessel man <laughs> hang it upside down <laughs> yeah that was hilarious man <laughs> and then who else oh Eminem people were talking about Eminem you know bending down taking this, taking a knee taking a knee yeah I mean, that was just yeah, I don't know. What know. That he really didn't have to do that. And he white. Right, you had to have him. <laughs> right, he it's like. all black, so We had to do something, if it was him and them. Right. They had to bring somebody in there. But we already knew, you know, that's, that's Dr. Dre boy. Yeah. So he was definitely going to be there. Snoop now did he, his thing. Oh, yeah. D-O-double-G, baby. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, what he is, his camera, what he was, um, the blued out with the um, bandana. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The bandana outfit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he did his thing as usual. Yeah, it was pretty, a pretty good. It was pretty live, live. Before. It was something different for sure. You know than what you know the the world is used to seeing during Super Bowl, but it'll be. I wonder how long it w- it's gonna take for us to get something like that again. You know, where it's like majority hip hop. They say you got you niggas had y'all chance. So um, <laughs> see you in the next one. The one and done. <laughs> right. It may be back in ten to fifteen. Right, right. It may it definitely may take that long. Ten at like least ten be? years. Jay Z ain't never do no show, but what he was doing. Oh yeah. He was sure over it. Never. Uh, and I don't even think yeah, even when Beyonce performed, he didn't come out as a special, you know, guest or anything. Hmm. No, nah, he said I know it was a few years ago he was it was something real big with him in the in the NFL where he was like, he don't need the Super Bowl because he feel arenas anyway. Right, and then he started Thank work you. working with them, so, you know, yeah. trying to do the the reform and, and like we discussed before, just showcasing diversity um, on these, um, you know, national sports teams. and But he did a pretty good job, you know, for – for him to have kind of been the the head of pulling together this halftime performance, um, he did, he definitely did a a good job. Um, let's see. So yeah, we had the Super Bowl, and then next thing you know, it was uh your day, <laughs> your day. It was the day of the lovers. <laughs> I mean, you're you're the one that's married. Yeah, I, I hey, I'm single. We did our thing. Yeah, Shoot. I, I showed up for that day. As you, you know? as you supposed to. Yeah, as you supposed to. Like every day is Valentine's Day around here. Oh That's God! My oh my God! Do you think that before you guys were married, do you think that you did more like on Valentine's Day? For your of wife, course, when you when, when she you was just first, a girlfriend versus when you now, first, those first few Valentine's days, those are the real Valentine's day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Them the ones where you go out to dinner, go buy the jewelry, and the, you know what I'm saying the outfit. You just you know that's when you. But I'm 22, 23 years in the game on that. <laughs> Okay. And I, like I said, I feel Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is every day to okay. me. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, basically, no. <laughs> Your question is uh, no. I still did some. I got daughters out there. I had to buy them some. My wife taught me that because I wasn't doing that at first. Oh, she wow. She taught me that I need to. Oh Make yeah, sure she taught you. Home. She taught you good because they have to feel the love from their dad. Right. Mm-hmm. So I made sure they was. I was the first person to get them anything. If nobody else gave them anything, I made sure I gave them something. Right. They got what their mama got. <laughs> Everybody got the same. <laughs> Lord, you yep. no no creativity, no thought in it, huh? It was some thought, yeah. I thought about it when I got it. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, I mean, they definitely did better off than I did. <laughs> and how was that? Shit, they got something. You ain't getting that. They got flowers and all that type of stuff. I get flowers, you know, but flowers. I think flowers is just is is standard. <laughs> You know, I like, I'm a flower girl, so I like flowers. But outside, yeah, yeah, outside of that, nothing. Yeah, outside of that, nothing. I didn't know, I didn't have any expectations. I'm a single woman, so it's like, you know, if something, if somebody pop up with some shit, then I'll take it. Right, I'll (laughs) take it. I'll. It a de- it may be a surprise, but I would damn sure take it. I'm not gonna turn it away. But I see that all the celebrities and stuff, you know, they 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 was posting shit. They was posting big shit. I'm like, 
this what they like. I was like, this what they do these days. <laughs> they made you feel like what? Like I ain't do enough. Right. But then I had to go back to my mentality. Like I do this shit every day. Right. You know, so I probably just did something the day before. Right. Do that count? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they would just be spinning. My wife don't hold me. I love her because she don't hold me to a high standard when it comes to stuff like that. She know. Mm-hmm. Shit, we got, that's one day and we got 300 and how many, 65 more to go. Right. Or 364, whatever it is. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. I know some, sometimes, though, when you're looking at that stuff, you know, especially like people that are, you know, wealthy and rich and you just kind of look at this shit. Why do I have the alarm? Okay. But um, you see people that are wealthy and everything, and they got shit, two million roses packed up in a a condo apartment <laughs> with, the, with the lights dim and all kind of shit just going out. Oh, yeah. See, that ain't nothing but a front. My, I, ain't, I don't front. I'm real. You're going to keep it real. I got you something. I ain't going to do you like that. Right. <coughs> Sometimes I be thinking, are they like competing? Like even like just amongst like the celebrities or do they compete? Especially celebrities who are in relationships. Mm-hmm. Cause they start posting and then you'll see one person post something, you know, Oh my man, I love him so much. Da, 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 da. And then next thing you know, somebody else post they sh- it, somebody real, post they shit. Is it real or is it just a show? I shit, I would hope it's real. Man, I mean, I would hope it's all it's those it's balloons, real. all those flowers, cakes and and jewelry and all this other shit and new cars and I hope it's okay. real. I mean how many of them did they buy? Was that the only stop they made that day? <laughs> what you mean? If they got one woman or one man? Yeah. Versus having five or ten. Yeah, oh, did you see? Just... I just saw some. I literally just saw something today where it was this. Um, it was this guy. Let me see if I can pull it up real, cause that'd be some cute to talk about real quick. A funny uh-huh. story when we talking about Valentine's Day and then men who men who have multiple women or, you know, have a main chick and then a side chick. The one you holler at the day before, the day after, uh, earlier. <laughs> right, right. So the t- I guess today, you know, the main chick basically, you know, went to Instagram and was gonna have had some grievances because this guy, he's a ball player. Basically, he had the main chick and the side chick in the same hotel. On oh, Valentine's Day in different rooms. He running back and forth. And he running back and forth. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> Ugh, man, see, it's stuff like that. That's why, I can't, that's why I can't stand niggas, man. <laughs> Did he get caught? <laughs> yeah, he got caught. He he okay, so wait. let me see. This is on the neighborhood talk. Basically, Buffalo Bills wide receiver Stefan Diggs oh, uh, al- allegedly hooked up with two women on Valentine's Day at the same time. Um, according to Wax Unfiltered on Instagram, who was able to capture the, the tea, Diggs apparently had his on and off again ex girlfriend, Tay Heckford. Remember, Tay is kind of. He got a little clout. And Alicia Renee, they was in the same hotel on Valentine's Day, but managed to get, what did it say, but managed to get different rooms for them. Neither of the ladies knew what was going on. Tay Heckert seemed to have gotten the better room with the better flowers than Alicia Renee. Child. And then they have on here, they posted this picture. They posted pictures of the room, of Tay's room, and how was she. This is from her, like her little Instagram story. She posted Mm -hmm. pictures of the room, and um, 
Just showing out. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Child. That's what I'm talking about. Right. That's then, what I'm talking about. And it looks like Alicia Renee, the other chick, she posted. Let me see if I can read it. Somebody said, girl, Stefan and Tay are not together. This is somebody DMs. He is honest with you and says that they says that they fuck with each other still, but not together. He was with somebody named All That Mojo in Vegas and took her back to Miami with him after, but also had his old ex, another ex at the Pro Bowl game, sitting with his friends and family. She posted it on her IG. When he was in Atlanta, he was with a plethora of women, but the last night was with Alicia and flew her to L.A. with him. He got her a hotel room, but then also made time to see Tay. Also, Trevon has moved on to another chick, Yellow Blossom. Check his comments. She's also been with him and Jada while in L.A. <laughs> yeah, somebody told on him. Right. <laughs> it's in the DMs. Missed him out. <laughs> Missed him out. That was in the DMs, man. Y'all men need to stop y'all shit. See, that's, that's another reason why I'm single. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Well, I have a difficult time trusting men. I really do. And I don't like tolerating with too much shit. But it, it, it gets bad. Y'all women something else too now. I mean, we are. I'm I'm not I, I won't <laughs> shit. I don't deny that. We 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 come with a lot as well. Oh, man. Cool. I think my most difficult thing is, especially when, like, these type of holidays and shit like that come around and you're single, man, I be horny. <laughs> <laughs> you better keep your thumb around, huh? But that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, I have choices, right? Mm-hmm. And I have choices, but one... I don't sleep around like that, you know. So these choices, whether they could be people from the past, whether it could be somebody, you know, more new that I've met or whatever, I have choices, but it's like I don't want to just be sleeping with, you know, anybody. On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. (laughs) But let me me tell you what I did, though. (laughs) Okay, so I was trying to set something up, right? I was trying to set something up, low key. Mm-hmm. This was like a few days before Valentine's Day, so I hit this dude. I hit this dude up. Now, mind you, when you do think about those things, at least I I don't want to speak for all women, but I'll speak for myself. When you do think about those things as a single woman and you like, man, I want somebody to come, you know, tap this ass for Valentine's Day, you <laughs> you look at your list of options, right? Right. And then you have to think about who I think I would have the best, you know, experience with. Who going who gonna to be turned up like me? During the experience, so I'm looking at the list. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at somebody that you know. Usually when we get it or whatever, getting it in, it's good. It's it's good for both of us. Both of us enjoy our sex. It's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. But there are things that you know I be want to try to get into that they ain't really quite got into. So I had a proposition. I said, okay, let me see if I can try to set me up some. <laughs> set me up some for Valentine's Day. So I hit him, I hit him up because basically what I wanted to do, I wanted to try to turn him out. Okay. My plan was to turn him out on Valentine's Day. It was gonna be a Valentine's Day turnout. So okay. the conversation, <laughs> the conversation started, and you know, the conversation was going. We going back and forth or whatever through text. And then, you know, but at the end of the conversation, the conversation went on for probably about an hour, two hours, whatever, whatever. Text messaging? Yeah, we just texting. I hate that shit. <clears throat> I, I prefer texting over talking. 
but that's just me. I'm I'm not really a phone person. But so we going back and forth, texting. He asking what you mean by turnout. You know, so. the booty or what? Hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my Amber Rose on. I want to, you know, stick with figure your booty or suck oh, it, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't tell him that because I'm smooth. Yeah. I'm, I, didn't, I didn't say it flat out. I'm pretty smooth with that type of conversation now. But, yeah, so I don't know. The conversation sounded like he was down or whatever, whatever, whatever. And then it just kind of just went flat. <laughs> It just went flat. So it didn't happen. I put it out there. Maybe I should have been working on this, working on this, you know. Yeah, maybe, prior. You should have. Right, a week something. or two in advance. I didn't ask him if he had a, a girl. You know, I don't even know. I don't know as far as, like, what his life is now as far as, like, you know, dating and stuff like that. Maybe I should have asked. Maybe you do have a girl. Maybe I was interrupting. I would have been interrupting some shit. But. He knew what time it is. He know what time it is. I'm just, you know, maybe he'll come around. Yeah, he gonna come get it soon. He yeah, might he, not have been that day. Right. He gonna come get it. He gonna come get it. Yeah. Eventually, he gonna come get it. He gonna call one day and say, that offer's still there. <laughs> I'm ready. Right. You <laughs> you ready to you ready to whoop me? You ready to role play? Mm-hmm. Put the whip on your ass. <coughs> that was my plan. <laughs> Ooh, don't beat me. <laughs> don't beat me. God damn, you trying to hurt me. <laughs> Man, nothing but a little pain. Yeah. Just a little. Yeah. I would I wouldn't I would not be outrageous with it. You know how you see like on these videos and stuff and people be sticking pins in full skin and like no, I, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, that ain't got nothing to do with no sex. <laughs> that's that's torture. Yeah. That is straight up torture. But speaking of um relationships, and I'm sure we, you know, this this podcast will be around for a while. We will uh, the relationship talk will come up, I'm sure, on multiple occasions. But um Kim I mean Kanye West, he's still out here trying to get his family back and it's got to the point where this past couple of days people are pointing out the fact that all of these rants and st- stuff that he's posting and, and, and he's somewhat stalking her at this point, stalking her and the new boyfriend, Pete, <coughs> that his actions should be considered abusive behavior. And that's something that is scary. Right. But yet he has such a huge platform, you know, he's sending out the wrong message. How do you feel about that? Do you think like at this point it, it this his actions could be considered abusive behavior? Yeah, to me he's just making himself look crazy, you know what I'm saying? He need to he need to step back and reevaluate that thing back up. You the stuff you doing is outrageous. You moving across the street, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, he threatened you know, threatening to send people to uh, beat up Pete, or he gonna go beat him up himself. And oh, I seen one thing where he offered the guy that play on um, what is it, Saturday Night Live with him? He offered to pay his salary just so he won't have to see him every day. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, dude, like you had to triple my salary. Give me full dental insurance, a corner office, uh, three week vacation. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> a pair of Yeezys <laughs> with size twelve. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! He, yeah, he's been yeah. snapping today, especially today. He's been on he's been on a rampage. He did somewhat apologize for his actions, however, it's still he's still you know, continuing to post. Basically, um, I know today he said that uh, people calling him crazy, people calling him crazy could actually drive him to becoming crazy. And he believes that that is a form of harassment. Like he's been harassed by the public who continues to call him crazy. So you think he 
want her back or he just don't want to see her with nobody else? Or do he, or is he promoting something like a new album? Because, you know, usually when Kanye have these rants, <coughs> It's always some type of album or some, you know, he just new... dropped the album. No, he's 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 actually dropping a second Donda album. And it's supposed to come on the twenty second, which is what? Next week, right? So I think dude just don't want to see it with nobody else. Yeah, I That's mean it's I think. I think it's a combination of things because just looking at his past history, he's always you know, coming with these rants around the time when it's something that needs to be promoted, you know, as far as his brand goes. And the same with this, but it seems as though this Kim's new relationship have all kind of coincided around the same time. So I think it's, like I said, it's just a combination of things. His album is dropping on the 22nd of February. This is the second part of Donda, or I guess it's considered a whole new album or an extension um but i think yeah i mean i agree with you too he's probably um i think he wants her back he don't because kim kardashian is and was kanye's dream girl it's not like she was just you know a girl he used to date he she was literally his dream girl somebody he wanted to be with for a long time they were friends for a long time he finally got the opportunity to be with her and so he's trying to, you know, keep it together. So do you think this Pete guy is her, her type? Because I ain't never seen her with nobody like him. Before. I don't think Pete is her type. However, I think that, and Amber Rose has said this too when she dated him, that he's somewhat boring. He's like boring. He's not really... He don't come with a lot of excitement. And I think Kim got bored in the relationship as well. You know, the marriage also. You know, how many times does he get to go off and and work on his music for months at a time, you know, not see the family, not spend time with the kids, and she just kind of at home. Yeah, she's at home taking care of the kids. Like, no, dog, I'm Kim Kardashian. I I can have you know, these kids and still have a life. So I think that's what she sees in, in Pete is just an opportunity for her to experience something new, um, have fun in the process, you know, Mm -hmm. whether or not, I don't, I don't see her being with him for like a long run relationship, but for time, for the time now I can see her, you know, fooling with Pete. And Pete well, is a I crazy looking to, guy too. Yeah, I think he needs to just step back, co parent. And if anything gonna happen, it'll it'll happen over the course of time, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. The, the way he going at it ain't gonna never happen. It's just gonna be further division to me. Right. Yeah, I agree with you there. All right, well, you guys all thirty minutes are up. Oh, we had an interesting conversation today. Um, we'll see you guys in a week. I think I'm gonna kind of because the next couple of weeks I'm gonna take some time off here soon. Also, take me a little vacation, um, sometime in March. Um, but for now, we're gonna probably stick with recording uh, once a week. If anything comes up, I did want to announce to um everyone that um, eventually we will do live, like a live recording, of course, with AG being in Birmingham. Um, he will be video recording from his end and ver- and I, and we will just kind of come together probably on StreamYard on YouTube. That way we can have a live version of the podcast for you all because I've had a couple of people ask me about that. And it's coming. It's coming. That's that that'll be part of the the rollout with this thing. So um we just, you know, again appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. And um we will see you guys. Peace you guys and love you guys. Oh gosh. 
<laughs> don't forget um, to, su- to subscribe subscribe to us on all streaming platforms follow us as well on all social medias at straightforward msb that is str the number eight f w d msb and then also for any business inquiries especially for ad space or anything like that definitely you can email us at straightforwardmedia at gmail.com dot com.